Episode two of Ballin' on a Budget took us to Texas Roadhouse, so let's give you our thoughts. Okay, so now we're gonna rate our meal on quality, portion, and price. So my overall quality, I'll give it a seven. But that's because it Mine took so cold. long. It took us forever to film part one. Yeah, it was just bad. showing all the food we got. So it got a little bit cold, but so she gave hers a seven. I gave mine a nine. It didn't get that cold. Their rolls are good. The cheese sticks are good. I thought it was pretty good overall. And then now we're on to the portions. So overall, we're going to give it a nine. Yes. Mine, I would have given a 10 because I got a lot of food. She got a little bit less. I think she probably said eight. So that's why we evened it out. I got like nine. the real deal kids meal. Okay. Apparently mine was a junior ranger meal or something. So a, I got little a little bigger. I got a little bit more, but overall it's going to be a nine. And then the final category is price. This one was kind of tough to rank because... Two out of ten. Because... Free. It, for you. <laughs> uh, it would have been like $6 cheaper if we didn't get the cheese sticks. So it would have been 16 which still is a decent deal, but not as cheap as it could be. And since we did get the cheese sticks, it was basically like three meals instead of two. So I'm going to go with a seven overall because... $22 for a whole Texas Roadhouse meal is not bad at all, but in the scheme of this whole series, $16, $17, and then $22 total with the cheese sticks is probably going to be on the higher end. So that takes our total score for everything combined to a 32. Any final thoughts? 32 out of 40. I recommend Texas Roadhouse 10 out of 10. Not a bad deal. Or 30, 32 out of 40. I don't like that, so 10 out of 10. Okay. 